What's up, everybody? Cigar Shepherd Laird Mayhew back with another cigar review, and today I'm smoking the Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff in Robusto. Stay tuned. to another installment here at Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that little rectangle button that says subscribe. Go ahead and hit it and hit the little bell. It'll notify you when we post a review. And if it's not your first time here, well then, welcome back as always. All right, so I said today, but it's actually tonight, okay? I've been working all day and I packed up all my stuff. I've got to go on a little road trip for business. Uh, I'm going to take the camper. Got a construction job that I'm going to be working on. Instead of just commuting 80, 90 miles a day, I'm going to go ahead and take the camper down there. So you might see me posting from the camper or outside the camper here in the next week or two. But uh, I was going through the humidor tonight, just picking out some cigars to take with me. As you know, i got to pack a bunch of cigars. Um, it's not I've already checked. There's no lounge in the area I'm going to, so I'm going to have to travel to get my cigars. But I came across this, this blind man's bluff, and I was like, where the hell did I even get this? I don't. I was like, there's one of them cigars just in there. And I think I picked it up last year sometime to do a review. And I just never reviewed it. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and smoke it. And I got out here. You know, I'm in my pajamas. You know, I threw a hat on real quick. But I'm in my pajamas out here. And uh, I'm going to smoke it. So I said, screw it. I'll go ahead and review it. So it's the uh, Blind Man's Bluff by Caldwell. Now, Caldwell is one of them companies that's got like one of them stories that I like. Like, I can relate to that story because most of the time in the tobacco industry, you know, it's a guy who grew up on a farm and comes from generations of rollers and, you know, dirt sniffers and stuff like that. And it kind of makes you feel a little left out. Like, man, okay, I'm, I'm just always going to be a, a connoisseur of sorts. But, you know, you, I forgot the guy's name now. I should have wrote it down. But basically, from what I was able to gather... He was on his, he had a birthday and he was at a Smith and Walensky steakhouse and wanted a cigar and they didn't really have a big selection. The humidor was kind of messed up. Um, and I can't remember where I read this article. It might've been Cigar Aficionado, but he basically had an idea, you know, out of necessity, like, okay, I can go to these high end restaurants and these hotels and I can offer a cigar like concierge service. And that's what he did. He got, he did that and started a cigar, a cigar factory in, um, was it Miami uh, where they would uh, send you fresh cigars so they would roll them and send them out the same day so that's kind of cool but then that didn't work and then well, anyway he tripped he fell he stumbled he stood back up he was successful then he started his uh, uh, cigar line so um, definitely uh, some somebody that I can relate to an entrepreneur and in a field that he obviously loves so kudos to him um, so that's, I don't have much experience with the, with, with the brand, to be honest with you. I know they carry them up in uh, Selma, where I go, but they're not here locally in Fayetteville that I've seen. But uh, I think I had the, uh, is it the Long Live the King? I smoked that. That was a good cigar. And it was another one of them cigars that I smoked and I was like, kind of like Perdomo. I don't typically smoke them, but when I do, I always like reflect on the, and, and ask myself why I am not smoking more of them, so... Here we go. It's got a, uh, it's a 5x50 um, Robusto. It's got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Mm, nothing really new there. <laughs> Honduras uh, Criojo uh, uh, binder. And it's got, uh, it's got fillers from the Dominican Republic and Honduras. Sorry, it's late. Um, and, you know, one of the things that they, that they, uh, what's the word I'm looking for that they elaborate on is they only use like top-notch tobacco so great A's and B's is all that goes into it so anyway um, it's got like a nice dark brown wrapper it's, it's constructed very nice it's perfect I mean there's no I'm not getting any lumps no soft spots I did notice I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that you see where the dark spots are right there those are actually like holes like I could take my perfect draw tool and stick it down in there so that might cause a little bit of a burn issue. I don't know. Slightly oily. And the, the wrapper has got like a really sweet, it's like a sweet hay. That's what I, I smell hay, but it's got a sweetness to the smell. And it does have a nice little oily wrapper. It got a triple cap, uh, uh, tight visible seams. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a cut in the light 
and we're going to come back and review it. Stay tuned. I gotta turn that lighter down. Just a little too much juice on there. I had to hold the flame like six inches back, but kind of a snug draw. Here, I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit opening because of the uh, those holes, those pinholes. Earthy. I'm not getting a lot of smoke. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, Get the uh, the, the Zyfy cigar enhancement tool out because I like a little bit more air coming through there. I don't like a whole bunch. I don't like to have my ears pop and while I'm trying to smoke a cigar, and it kind of inhibits the flavor too. Black pepper. Creeping in on the back of the retro hell. It's real smooth though at the beginning. Almost nothing. Earthy. Earthy, earthy. Um, kind of a leathery taste on the palate, on the finish there, but real earthy. Like real uh, Honduran. I mean, when I say that if, I, if you blindfolded me and put a Honduran, Dominican, you know, people say that all the time. I, I would probably do okay. I don't know if I would get 100%, but. This has got that flavor that I automatically think it keeps my brain into Honduran earthiness. I'm getting plenty of smoke. I just wish there was a little more, so I may not even mess with it, but black pepper ramping up, slight sweetness, kind of like a dry nuttiness too, but I, I got to let it warm up and get more into the first uh, third and come back and tell me what I think about it. Stay tuned. So if you watch Cigars Daily, Tim Swanson, you might have caught the uh, Cigar Sherpa shout out that he put out last night uh, when I chimed in and asked him who he thought the best looking and prettiest cigar reviewer on YouTube was. His answer. Cigar Sherpa. I mean, facts, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Full disclosure, I was in, I was watching last night and I asked a question and he looked at the name and said, C Cigar Sherpa wants to know, and I just edited it all out. But I did uh, message Tim Swanson this morning and got the okay before I used that. I put it out on my, <laughs> put it out on my Instagram and it just plays over. Cigar Sherpa, Cigar Sherpa, <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. But anyway, cigar time, review time. We're in the first there. Very, very good cigar. I like it. Um, it doesn't even remind me of like a typical um, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. I mean, it just, it, they all, like I said, they all start kind of running together and tasting the same there. But this one, and it's not even, nothing really jumping out on me. I'm getting like coffee. That's the new nuance. So the earth kind of goes away that like, that uh, Honduran, earthy taste that was there, which is kind of like a, like a damp earth. It kind of goes away and it's, it's more, um, leathery. Okay. Along with that leather now is got some, uh, a good cedar note. And coffee. I was trying to get another, uh, a pool to see what kind of coffee. It reminds me of like a good breakfast blend coffee. Okay, and now as it's getting in about an inch now, it's starting to sweeten up and the sweetness is on the palate. Very much so. The retro hail leaves a little bit to be desired. The, the, the black pepper that was there, it's not very zingy. It's kind of faded. It's kind of like a smooth, warm sensation. There's not even no bite to it. And I'm used to like, all the cigars I've been smoking lately have been heavy on like black pepper and spice and I'm constantly retro hailing. And my, you know, my sinuses are coated with spice, but you know, it's been about two and a half hours since I smoked a cigar. I took a shower, I've done eight, you know, I've, I've cleansed my palate. Oh, that's getting real sweet now. And the smoke is getting creamy. So that coffee is now met with that sweet, almost vanilla. 
That's what I'm getting. It's almost like a like a vanilla flavor. It's getting sweet. Uh, it's starting to kind of run on me a little bit, but the burn, the, the ash is like really tight, very well made cigar. And I think it may be running because it's it does have kind of a snug draw, so I'm like constantly pulling on it. And now that I got that sweetness and that coffee in there, I'm gonna be pulling on it more. So hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. So I'm gonna come back in the second, third and tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Uh, quick apology. If you're still watching the review, my sound was horrible in the first two, three segments because I didn't have the damn microphone plugged in. <laughs> I'm sitting here getting ready to go into the second, third part of it. And I look up and I realize that the microphone's not even plugged in. So I apologize for that. I'm still going to post it because we ain't got no budget here. There ain't no crew. Yeah, I don't want to have to start all over again. So there we go. Um, anyway, so we're in the second third. We're, we're halfway through the cigar on one side. The other side, not so much. It's it's still lagging behind, but um, yeah, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and knock this ash off. I just wanted to leave it on, you know, for, sh for show. It's still... It still has that 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 core flavor that I was at in the first third where you've got um, cedar, you've got coffee, and you've got leather. They're all meshed together. That's like the core. That coffee is like almost not powdery, but dusty. And I know that there was something going on in one of the uh, Ron Reels live feeds where everybody was talking about barn dust. I don't know what that is, but this does kind of leave like a dusty type finish on the palate, kind of like, you know, coffee dust. <laughs> Although I'm not saying coffee does, it's just dusty. That vanilla note's still there, along with that coffee. It makes it really good. Spice, there's a good spice there. I'm not really sure on the spice. It's, you know, when I think baking spice automatically, you know, my mind goes to cinnamon, but this has more of like a nutmeg, like a sweet nutmeg. And there might be a little bit of uh, citrus coming in there. I'm not a big fan of citrus. Y'all know that. I don't know. I had a cigar. Which, what was I smoking? The uh, the lot, the Coalition, the Drew Estates uh, Crown Heads mashup. And that had like a citrus note on it. But for the first time, it was a citrus that I liked. It was like a sweet candy citrus. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, man. I'm tired of sucking on it. I'm just going to knock right through that knot that's right there under the band. And I hope I don't crack nothing. I don't want to go too far. Yeah. Okay. Better. There we go. Now I'm really getting the spice now. And it is like a baking spice. Cinnamon. Nutmeg predominant. That vanilla is still there. Smoke is actually a little bit more creamy now. Like Since I opened it up, I'm getting more smoke. It's good. I'm going to bring it into the final third. Come back and tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. We're in the final third. Or we're coming into the final third. It's the final third for me because I don't know if it's just that it's late. I smoked a lot of cigars today. I had a long, busy day, but the strength is kind of getting to me. And I'm not really enjoying the, uh, the strength overload. Overall, I'd say it's a medium plus bodied cigar. It starts off medium, gets about halfway. And, uh, this is what I pulled out of it with my Perfect Draw tool, my cigar enhancer from Zyfy. See how thick that is? It's like a damn twig. I'm telling you, man, I just had some bad luck lately. But once I got that out of there, the flavor exploded. I mean, it was, it, it was the same flavors that I was getting. It's just they were just, now they were just more full. And they were more, the spice, the cinnamon spice kind of gave way to more of a clove type spice sensation on the palate. Um, the sweetness ramped up, reminds me of vanilla, so I'm going to call it vanilla. Um, but that coffee, leather, and cedar, earth, you know, sorry, the leather earthiness, the cedar, and the, the coffee note, and the vanilla sweetness. The smoke, I believe, probably if I would have tackled that twig, pulled it out of there earlier, probably would have been a little bit more creamy because I'm noticing it's more creamy textured now since I pulled it out, but I just can't do it no more.
Retro Hell has been nothing to really speak about. There's a slight pepperiness, um, but you really just get like some earthiness in the, almost a cocoa, I guess. It'd be the closest nuance as I was searching for it. I'm just getting like earthy, a little bit of like, a little bit of spice in there, but um, just real smooth and mellow, nothing to even really speak of. So if you're not a Retro Hell and guy, well, you know, you're not missing much on this one. To still get a lot of the uh, the spice and the sweetness and stuff in the retro hell, but a lot of sweetness on the palate. So um, I'm definitely going to pick up more of these. I'm probably going to get a box of these. Um, I'm very impressed with uh, Caldwell. Uh, excuse me. So far, um, what I've smoked of them, and it's definitely one of them cigars that I'm looking at, saying why ain't I smoking more of them? So Caldwell in Robusto, five by fifty, Ecuador Habano wrapper, Honduras Honduran Criojo binder with Dominican Republic and Honduras fillers. And that's it. Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet, but always have a backup plan in case things go south. And I'm out.